hello. <laughs> this is amazing. Ooh, ooh, okay, that's not the cool. Hey guys, you can't see how much clothes I have here, but it's a lot. And I'm gonna do a clean out my closet video because I don't know, I'm bored and it's Christmas Eve. So yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'll have a chit chat, clean my closet video. What a great video to do. Okay, let's get on with the video, I guess. Um, I don't know how you guys sort your clothes. Cause I just do like, you know, um, pants, leggings, sweatpants, skirts, shorts, long sleeve, short sleeves, um, sweatshirts. Oh no, I I'm not really in the mood to clean my closet, but you know I have to because lately I've been busy and just stuffing clothes in my closet and I really have to fix it and take clothes I don't wanna have and pack clothes for CI. If you guys don't know, it's a um, a Christmas retreat that I go every year for my church and I will vlog that. I'm so excited. So, yeah. And we can do a mini haul too. <laughs> so you guys already know this. Um, I always wear this. It's a, like, a t like a tank top, but it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a really nice um, shirt to wear and you can put a card cardigan on the side and I have this other, um, I have lots of things, so I'm just gonna fast forward it and, you know, live my life, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if you guys would want some of my clothes, I can like put them up on like sale. I can put them on sale if you guys want. Um, maybe I might do that. Because I have lots of clothes that I don't really wear anymore. Any of you guys want? So comment down below if you guys want to buy anything for me. You guys like my style or anything because i have a lot of clothes that i don't wear anymore so and i can sell it for cheap like probably less than 20 and that's really cheap considering how much i bought all of these stuff for these clothes for like this one i have this um pink long sleeve crop top i bought it um in canada a few years ago and it's really like small for me it's cute though it's like um like that so if you guys any any of you i'll sell it for like five dollars if you guys want it because it is cute but it's like i am not wanting to wear this anymore i don't know so um i have some q and a's for like winter q and a's that i've like looked up for it to answer just randomly so basically there is this question about like what's your favorite like kind of food to eat during the season the holiday season you know and i honestly don't know because i eat a lot and if it's one thing that i like during the holidays is starbucks i always drink a lot of starbucks and i think i'm broke because of starbucks i wasted about like probably 50 dollars on starbucks um this one and that's kind of too much you know but you know because i've been to lots of studying with my friends and i've gotten a lot of starbucks ever since then but you know it's great and my if you guys want to know my favorite drinks there i really like um the caramel brulee the ice caramel brulee latte it's really like it tastes really good like it's caramel like coffee if you guys don't like um really like bitter coffee um, you should get that, but if you want more bitter coffee, then just get coffee. I don't know. I was never really a big fan of coffee, but now I kind of really like coffee. Like, it just, um, the taste of, like, I've been craving coffee a lot lately, so I've just been buying a lot of coffee, you know? Just coffee is life. I actually like tea better, but still coffee is life. Oh, there's my sweatpants. <laughs> I have I barely wear sweatpants to school because I really like throughout the years of school I've learned how to be like dress like capable you know at school not just wear sweats like other people do you know it's just I mean I don't I'm not judging them for wearing sweats like like you can wear them like at least once a week but like every day at least just look presentable because <laughs> in life people are gonna judge you a lot for what you're wearing the same so 
so I only have like one pair of sweats and I couldn't find them until now so yay I have sort of sweats sweats pants I don't know what people call it sweats but like you know that kind of stuff like sweats so and if any of you guys want this too I was gonna buy it for my friend but like um she stopped talking to me tea ow but if you guys want this I'll sell this for really cheap because it is really um it's not broken because I haven't worn it but it just looks old but you know ow Hey y'all, so, um, it kind of, um, uh, stopped, so we're gonna keep going. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a long video, but you know, who cares? Uh, this is a really nice shirt I haven't worn in a while, and I should wear it. That's my life. Also, uh, hmm? so another, other Christmassy questions are, like, actually, like, there's also, like, broader questions about 2018 so we should talk about that because that's tea you know i have to stop saying that word my friends influence me so much like the things they say i say and it's like mm, everywhere like it's just it's not a bad thing i love saying tea because it's funny i love saying that. and i love that i love that but anyways um so What's been happening this year? A lot of things, honestly. I feel like for 2018, everyone has different opinions on it, but I think everyone can agree. The best things happened in the worst times of your life. Um, cause I love Ariana Grande and like she has been so strong lately. Like despite Mac and um, Pete, like that's a thing. I did not know that thing was gone already. I forgot that they called out the engagement. But, um, where is my, oh, okay. oh, it's here. but she was like, um, uh, she's like, I'm having best in my career, but I'm having the worst in my life. And I can say the same thing, but like, I don't have a career, but like, just saying, I don't know. I just feel really like accomplished yet not. And that is the most confusing sentence I've ever said. But if you can like get what I'm saying, then you know, I love you because you understand. And also like today I went like last minute Christmas shopping for like my sister. And it was like, it was a rush. At Target, it was, there were so much people. And I was like, dang, y'all are procrastinators because same. But like me and my sister have a tradition of um, buying Christmas presents for each other on Christmas Eve so we can like open it right away and that's smart because I'm excited to where she got me I got her so much good things and Target's really cheap especially during the Christmas season um I bought like this portable charger and it was like five dollars and I swear if that doesn't work I will return it or something I don't know I'm gonna steal them or something because they shouldn't do that and also just a Q&A about myself since I haven't really done one in a while, I actually don't know when the last time I did a Q&A. But people just ask me like, oh, what do you do? Like, were you for fun? Or what are you? No, what are you? But like, what do you like to do? And like, tell me about yourself. And I'm just like, hmm, I really don't know. Cause like, I'm one of those basic girls to like singing and dancing. Well, basically more dancing because singing is a work in progress. Cause I can't talk. But, I love dancing, I've been dancing since I was little, and I can't stop dancing. Dancing is a way for me to express how I feel towards everything, through my feelings and everything. And lately, I've been attending the studio, and I've loved it so far, but um, to be honest with you, like, this is the real tea. I am a, bad, I'm a dumb person sometimes, because I always put low expectations for myself, and then when I go into that low expectation, I get, I like waste my time doing it, you know? So basically the story is that I signed up for a level level one class, which you know is a beginner's class. And you know, I've been dancing for a long time. So you know, I decided to take a beginner's class, but I took it for a few months now. I started in September and I realized after the holiday showcase that this is not for me, that I cannot do this. Like this is literally all we do is not 
all we do is the basics, you know? And if you've done the basics for your whole life, then what goes into the basics again and waste your money, you know? So um, I emailed them and told them that, like, you know, I went off. This is, my vocab sucks. What has society done to me? Um, so basically, I emailed them saying that I really need a challenge and I don't want to be wasting time. So basically, that's my dance story, my dance life. Um, how am I not done with this yet? See how long this is gonna go for? I'm gonna cut things off because we're gonna try to listen to 20 minutes of my TED talk. When I think about it, I'm thinking about YouTube and everything. And I feel like I'm being, I've am being i been so inconsistent of uploading videos that my subscriber count went down to like 98. But it's up to 102, so I love 102 of you guys, whoever is subscribed. I love you guys so much for staying with me and my journey of YouTube because I barely post that much anymore. I'm sorry, and I will post more, I swear. I just, school has been really busy and, um... I really wanted to post more videos more often now. I just have the motivation to, you know? And it's hard to post videos if you have no motivation because you'll have no ideas, you know? And having ideas and just knowing what to do with your life makes, okay, makes it better for you to post more good quality things, you know? So that's what I was, um, I had like a block of like, um, school work and I couldn't do anything about it because I'm I've been procrastinating a lot in school like I would get home at 2 to 5 like uh, between those ranges and then I would just go on my phone procrastinate to do my homework until like 7 and then I would procrastinate again until 8 then I would finish at 9 and I'd go straight to sleep and you know I could just do a video and then do my homework if I didn't procrastinate or do my homework first and then do a YouTube video if I want to be more responsible but no no life of a procrastinator doesn't work like that and honestly what I want to do um, my new year's resolution is to actually do work because that's what I tried to a non-procrastinator and I um I found out like one of the uh, like helpful things to do like to um, help with your procrastination like just not disorder but like ability yeah ability is to like watch TED talks because there's just one TED talk about procrastination and I read that I mean I read that I watched it and I was like hmm that makes sense like you hold things to the last day thinking everything will be okay and thinking oh I'll just save my time to like save my energy for that day but then it goes wrong and you like BS everything and that just sucks. So yeah, life lesson not procrastinate. But you know, it was, it's gonna take a long process too. So basically, that's my TED talk for today, this year. This whole year has been crazy, man. Um, yeah, so I am basically done with my clothes um i folded everything back again and all i have to do now is just put back put everything back inside my closet and then pack and then i will be going to camp and i will vlog that too i'll make another separate video of everything so i hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning my closet video i hope this is not boring for you hope we learned stuff from listening to me because I talk a lot and you know use your voice guys don't hide anything you have to say I don't know if it's really mean but if it's realistic then you should say it so you can help other people's lives and make them realize how they can change so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye